Bad for the ears. Hardy party kills brain cells, even tiny little ones like yours. Trust me, I'm an animal doctor. See? Only three more hours. Okay, five. Mm -hmm. No, Mahegan, until I get my first paycheck for my first real job. I get the bigger. Okay then. Harmless entertainment. Or maybe not. Bobby, shh. Don't tell anyone. This is our secret. Just between you and Daddy. You know I won't do anything to hurt you. Just the natural expression of my love for my favorite daughter. That's all. Good girl. That's good. It's okay. Everything's good. No fears. No fears. No going backwards. Where is it? Okay, hang on. Hang on. Easy. Easy, baby. Easy. Come on, baby. It's okay. It's okay. Easy. Easy. Oh, you poor sea. Come. Come. You see? Easy. Oh, what a good baby. Yeah. He's a good boy. Oh, bad truck. Once upon a time I met a man who was good Showed me how to live my life As I knew I should Ups and downs brought smiles and frowns And that was okay Till everything I thought he was Went upside down one day I'm not blaming him or me for What I saw happen then Such happens when the blade of life Becomes a knife And I hope he's well wherever he is That is no lie I think of him with love That I can never deny of life he opened my heart but taught me that with other souls I don't have to be so hard we'll meet again that man and I I know it for true but I'll be with someone else and I hope that he will too so don't be tardy we're all so farty 
And now let's recreate the party. I can feel you there, but I've got business to do here, medical business, before spiritual. Hello? Ribley Clinic? It's Dr. Roberta Colliner. My arrival there is going to be delayed, but I'm not more than... Hello? Hello? Shit! More shit. Heinrich's Donut Shop. Henry's Ice Cream Shop. Dr. Henry Steiner. There we go. Hello? 
Is anybody there? I need some help here. I have a sick animal here. <sighs> I'm Dr. Henry Steiner. You wanted to see me? Do we know each other? Thought you were someone else. Your wolf pup? Yeah, I uh, found him on the road this morning, last night. He was shot. Huh. Let me bring him in here. Let's go. Come on. Get up here. Stay. Best use of duct tape and pantyhose I've seen in a dog or a wolf sage. Bone shattered. He's going to need surgery. Big time surgery. I do surgery here. It's infected probably. He's going to need um... I have antibiotics here. His gums. Pale. Sticky. Very observant. I like that in a client. His pulse. Steady. Not too fast. And not too slow. He's going to need 500 cc's of Ringer's yet, and a safe opioid. Butorphanol, 5 milligrams? My usual dose. Or some ketamine I can buy from you? Special K, what else? Mahegan, Awas, come on, Awas. You can stay, you can stay. But I would appreciate whatever you've got in that pocket out of my clinic. This is my clinic. Not an opium den. And we've had enough smoke around here. That's sweetgrass, smudged, not lit. Not lit. And these are medicines, not... And you people should know better than to use wildlife as target practice, even when you're drunk. I don't drink, and I don't... And when your husband wakes up from his hangover, tell him next time you could have shot one of your kids. Roberta, what are you doing? Bobby, we have guests. Important guests entertain less than an hour. Senators, oil execs, cops. Where are you going? To that squaw's funeral. That accident she had in the loony bend in. She finally did herself and all the rest of us a favor. She's, and she, and she was my grandmother, the only one who cared, who is. She died, Bobby. She's gone, for good. Her good as well as ours, for good. Those custom made blue contact lenses that you asked for, and I paid for, you're not wearing them. I'm not looking through your blue eyes anymore. Do you really think you can get away from all this and me this easily? And if you're going back to your roots on the res, you're not gonna need these. Where are you really gonna go, Bobby? To the cops? You're a part of all this as much as I am. Some judges might be convinced to save and more. Ow, ow. What? Huh? Bobby, I'm not as easy to get rid of as daddy was. Go get ready. I said, go get ready.
You all right? No? Yeah, but what about him? I can save the pup and the leg. And let's have some healthy background well, noise for us. No, probably not. Yes, miss. Doctor, Roberta Colliner, PhD, DVM, University of Saskatchewan, class of... Hmm. A Hanson hemostat. They stopped making these back in 72. What are you doing with my Hanson hemostat? Leasing it? Maybe the rest of your... <laughs> surgical facilities? For what? The pup. What are you asking? What do you got? Now that you have the egghead music you think you need. Are you sure you don't have any masks? You don't need them. Because that way the patient can see your smiling face, Doc. The one that's going to save him. I read about the forest fires out here. They must have been ugly. Like the rumors that uh, we had mad cow disease out here. Some yuppie vegetarian back in Toronto set that up trying to kill the cattle industry out here and set up quiche and cappuccino bars. There's only two kinds of people we need. Ones who build our houses and grow food. The rest of us, we're expendable. Could you hold that retractor steady? Yes, I can. <laughs> oh, Mahegan, Prometheus is gonna be all right. Prometheus? Hmm. Looks more like uh, Jake. Wild Bill Cody. Or... Ah, oh, I got it. Uh, Kentucky Pioneer Dano. Not Daniel. No. Prometheus. Defied the Greek gods so man could have fire. Got the glory. Paid the price. Mahegan. Wolf. Gave a piece of his left ulna and right jawbone to save me from Kurt, the suit. The suit? <sighs> yeah, boy, dreamboat, it turns into a nightmare from hell when you dare to decide his kindness and protection and... Can you hold that retractor steady? You got it, Doc. Thank you. You're putting in lots of screws. Through at the National Veterinary College. The space between the fractured bones should be no more than two millimeters. For a large dog or a horse. I'm paying for these, aren't I? And doing a very fine job of it. Thank you. I always thought you people would make great veterinarians if you put your mind to it. Yeah, we people. Got electricity in our teepees now and everything. Caught on to that new invention, too. What was it again? The wheel? <coughs> Mahegan! Mutz! Prometheus is gonna be all right. Are you all right, Doc? I will be. Once I get truck on the road. Start my new job at the Ribley Veterinary Clinic. Impressive! The Ribley Clinic is the place to be a veterinary specialist. But I was talking about this. Very impressive. Precision alignment. Textbook stuff. Screws are to be no more than two millimeters apart. Retroactive article in Javma last week. A real surgeon doesn't need all this hardware to make this bone heal. I've proved that in this clinic for the last 27 years! No, Mahegan. Prometheus is going to be all right. He's still sleeping with time-tested K.A.R. You know, we always used a gas anesthetic with four pre-meds at the college. Here in the real world, we use anesthetics that work. Not like the crap that Wilson's Pharmaceuticals is trying to cram down everybody's throat. 
which I've personally investigated and discredited in this lab. From this lab? And I would like for you to show me a little respect, young lady. Young lady? Your generation is all me, me, me. You throw away everything, values, principles, people. Not all of us. Not all of us. Doc, the patient. Hello? Ribley Clinic? This is Dr. Colliner. Yeah, I know. I was supposed to be there this morning. At 10. I know. What do you mean, don't hurry? We had an agreement. A job. Contingent on funding at your end, yeah. And my arrival. Right? Right. Right. Wrong! Your truck is like, alive again. How much? Um, it was real sick, you know. We had to like... Hello? Ribley Clinic? I'm glad you could get back to me. For you. Terry here, and you're there. Wow, that's like so organic. Nick, there's something wrong. Hmm. I have some stuff to do here. Um, maybe I could just go already. <laughs> okay, I'll be there soon. That's like super groovy of you. Be back in an hour. You're gonna have to do better that if you want me to come with you. I know, Tempest Fugit, time flies, even Indian time, but... Your x-rays, Dr. Bobby. Dr. Who? Uh, Coloner. Uh, your post off x-rays that you ordered. This town is a time warp. A bad dream. Mm. Dream? Hmm. Sergeant Klassen, we had a report that you have in your possession a white dog named Ginger, owned by Klaus Lancaster. The dog is at their property, and if you want, you may file a legal complaint against Mr. Lancaster for animal cruelty. Norma, they have money, lawyers, and they make us do what is unfortunately legal. I brought what you wanted, Norma. Norma, I bought the streets you wanted. Hey, Terry. Thank you. And Henry said he wanted me to drop this off for you. Okay, just over on the table there. Thanks. Okay. That's Ginger, isn't it? Oh, man. Not good enough. Hmm. You know, yellow and blue make green. I know these, like, peacekeeping guys. They're starting a new political party. And they need a mascot. Maybe a trim around the eyes? She's got kind eyes. Bill always said that a kind dog would get adopted by kind owners. That's the tenth time, Norma. Terry? That's like... The tenth time you've mentioned Bill this week. You know, 15 years is a long time to go without love. Your 
kind of like young, you know. You wouldn't understand. What you doing? Nothing. Just stuff. Nothing. Just stuff. For Norma. 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 Hello? Hello? Terry? I finally found an ATM that gave me some money instead of a fuck off buzz. Hello? Yes. Yes. Had a girl. So your little Indian prince's daughter is officially my property now. That you can control with compliments. And candy. Take her in. No. No. Daniel's going to be better off with a family who's going to raise him right. A family who paid really good money. We talked about this, remember? It's part of your recovery. Hey, you agreed to this. You got to let him go. Explain this. This way. Gather round and join us for the happy party party. Don't be tardy, stop being a party. Gather round and join us for the happy party party. Thank you. I swear the FBI and CSIS use that to torture people. You look familiar. Have I seen you somewhere before? Everyone's got a double, I suppose. I suppose so, partner. <laughs> ma'am? Ma'am? Do I look like a ma'am to you? N no, ma'am. Uh, I mean, uh, I mean... We buckle bunnies have names nowadays. Mine's Roberta. Dr. Roberta Colliner. I see you met Dr. Colliner. Best uh, pair of hands I've seen medically, if that's speaking. Uh, your, your new partner? Made her an offer, but she's off to a more progressive clinic, more worthy of her prestigious position and talents. Where was that, Roberta? Okay, it's 200. 240, 260, 275. Um, There's 360. Let's put that on. I guess that'll do it. That won't do it. No, no, you can't. They, they don't make these anymore. You, if you want, I can just... Uh... Buy your way into bed with somebody else. And that's all that's coming off. Slamming the door. 
something I should know about, Doc? Learning, Hank. Finding out in life who we really are. Right? And keeping the real secrets from your most trusted friends. Be real gentle with her. We saved her life. Ah, sh she's still healing. Just like I told you, Cowboy Hank. Money to you, Cowboy Hank, to fix that truck the way I want to drive it. As for you, Henry, I'm on call four nights a week. Make it six. I've been on for seven for 29 years. Done. My patients, I treat my way. And my patients, you treat my way. Done. And a pack of smokes, Marlboro man. Those are bad for your health. Unfiltered. Windchill sure brown, dad burn mosquitoes are sure bad this year. Not as bad as last year. Yeah, I wore a bandana from June through August and still ate two mouthfuls of the dad burn critters even every time I breathe. Yeah, we smudged half a haystack and still got bugs in our teeth. Do you think the the mosquitoes will still be carrying west now this way from Ontario. As long as we have cold winters, gravel roads, and no cappuccino bars, no eastern bugs gonna come here and try to make home. What about mad cow disease? And they shut down five major operations. I don't think we got anything to worry about as long as uh, men are men and women are women and Oprah stays on her side of the... Oh, for Christ's sake. He turns up. Good boy, you got it. Okay, boy, come on, up you go. You got it. There you go. So I hear you hired a new vet. She shows promise. How long until you let this one go for not showing any results? That's up to her. Or your expectations of her. And yourself. When you let her go or gets the good sense to quit. Okay, so I owe you for the cats that uh, we adopted out to the hospital to look after the dying patients. Against doctor's orders. Yeah, doctors who are dead between the ears and in the heart. And I owe you for the dogs that uh, went to the mentally handicapped school. Interesting how they escaped from that research lab in Walla Walla, hey? Oh yeah. So how much do I owe you? One large oatmeal cookie. Henry, you've got expenses. Yes, indeed I do. Let's make it two large oatmeal cookies. Okay. Bet you want some coffee to go with that too. Yes, please. Black. Two large oatmeal cookies. So black, you could eat it with a spoon. I prefer a fork. I like mine crunchy, you like yours chewy. Oh, thank you. Cheers. Cheers. Dear Norma. I want, want need, require that the plutonic friendship between us be expanded.
Handleable. Maybe, maybe not. I can handle this and a whole lot more. I know you can, but here's my cell phone number. I'm out on a call. <laughs> Which I won't use because I don't need to because I know what the hell, know what the heck I'm doing. Holy shit. Is it always this busy? Well, our suturing's getting better. Yeah, and faster too. <laughs> and... We really did think she had colic. Right, Lance? Right, Liza. Just got her last week for our grade seven personal best honors student, Michael Webster Wellington. J. Michael Webster Wellington. And our other personal best life student, K. Jennifer Hillary Wellington Webster. Death hound. Just. Death Hound, if it isn't too much trouble in the universe that you live in. What are she's stuck in? We thought that getting a horse would improve our caring and sharing dynamic. Right, just like that solar baked tomb you call an environment house. Made from organic lumber? You cut down what? A hundred acres of rainforest just to get it? Isn't that right, Dad? Oh, sorry, I mean Lance. Right on, Jen. Oh, I mean Death Easy, easy, Mr. Tim. Mr. Tim? Dog. Big dog. It's a Cree word for horse. You speak Indian? We saw dances with wolves three times. Love your language. It's so, so earthy and ancestral. Right, Lance? Yeah. Right on, Kimosabi. Maybe you could teach your language to Michael and Jennifer. We'd pay you. What are you feeding her? The horse, I mean. Five hog and dawes containers of preservative-free stoned milled oats three times a day. The colorfully dressed, rustic-looking man at the feed store said it was good for horses. Wild grass is better. Next time she gets too many oats, she could get laminitis. And that's a disease that she can't come back from, and I can't get her back from either. That field I saw coming in is a better place for her. We're saving that for our buffalo. Yeah, man. Buffalo. Uh, Tatanka? What kind of fencing do you have? Logs. Big ones. Metal and barbed wire are ecologically wasteful, mm. you know. 
We are going to train the bison, initiate a social contract. Right, Lance? Mm, right on. Yeah. We heard you people train buffalo. <laughs> Anybody can train a buffalo to do exactly what it wants. Are your buffalo vaccinated? Vaccinations are unnatural. Right, Lance? Right. Unnatural is uncool. Brucellus, <laughs> clostridial disease, those are deadly diseases. And if they spread to other herds, you guys are going to be in a lot of trouble. Those deadly diseases have to be confined. Contained. Doc! You okay? Yeah. Um, remember what I said about that field. Put her out there next week, okay? Okay. That's good with you. Mm -hmm. Time for us to watch David Suzuki's <sighs> Echo Seminar. He's so earthwise, you know. Yeah, earthwise man. And cool, dude. Earthwise and cool person. Dude and man are chauvinistic mm. words. The goddess of karma doesn't like them. Right on. The goddess of karma is so cool, man. Right on, dude. Hey, medicine woman. You left something. <laughs> Someone behind? Detective Agency, Jack Eldon here. Hello? This is Dr. Colliner. Did you get my check? Yes, and it cleared this time. You must be getting steady work. Which I will use to pay my bill. In the meantime, have you heard anything about Daniel? Nothing. The family who has him must have moved. Or paid you to tell me that they did. Dr. Colliner, we, no I, have been more than understanding of your situations dedication to finding your son, and your continued efforts to. I gotta go, I got an emergency. Okay. I just, I just need some sleep. Have a good night, Hank. You gotta be kidding! Roberta! Three C-sections, Johansson's, plus milk, two milk fevers. I'll meet you there. Mr. Johansson? Hank? Henry? Clyde. Clyde Johansson. Where are all the downer cows? They're up. And the C-sections? They're, they're up. Doc Henry did all that in 25 minutes? Yeah, Doc Henry is saving the hardest till last. Okay, I'll say it for you. You're twice my age, you have four times the energy, and if I had any sense at all, I'd get an American-made truck. And this is, you come to a farm looking professional, not like you're some hippie at a love-in. Did I miss anything? Yes. Penal hydrate. 10,000 units. In my bag. 10 cc's, phenyl hydrate. This is illegal in this country, you know. There's a guy up in Peace River that got shut down just for having it on the shelf. 
We're injecting saline, aren't we, Clyde? Ten cc's, Doc. <laughs> Five more. Five more units. In the neck vein. Up to the vein. In the neck. Roberta. It's up to you. Do you want this cow to live and calf? I have some oxytocin in my bag. I could... Now. Hold on, girl. Let's work together. Calf's out. Okay. Good job, son. No limp-wristed jeans in your blood pool. Roberta, come in here and work the calf. Come on, Clyde. You help. She got to give a name to this beef steak? By the time she's delivered all the calves this year, she's going to run out of names. Oh, damn. We got a twisted uterus here. Can you come up and help, Roberta? You got to do it my way, not by the book. It'll take an hour. Oh, God! Oh, God. Ah, God. Ah, 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 ah. Hold the curvature of the uterus. Okay, yeah. Okay. Yeah. Overlapping invert cushings. Yeah. And for God's sakes, don't leave any uh, devitalized tissue in the sutures. I got this. Clyde, can you get me the number two suture on the taper? The big needle. The hook in it. I got this. Eight years of schooling. Enough books to fill a library. All of the compromises you have to make to get a career. And I still don't understand what you get out of this life. I don't know what you're trying to say, Doc. Better. <laughs> How's Doc? The wife gave him some painkillers. It won't make his back problems go away, but he had the best sleep he did in a month mm -hmm. or two. Of course, that may change now. Now he's got you as a partner. Temporary partner. Yeah, Henry said he was temporary too back in the 70s. Fresh of being chairman at the Wyoming Veterinary College. He didn't tell me that. Well, he's not much for bragging. Sure. Why did he come here anyway? Yeah, I ended up in the sharp end of a stick there in Wyoming. University eggheads with their heads stuck up each other's ass. And some problems that he had with Wilson Pharmaceuticals and a blue-bud veterinarian of the same name that tried to change his town into a city 20 years ago. And others. Had bigger problems with his wife and family. His daughter? The birthday picture I see on the wall. Yeah, Rita and him had problems. And no brand of miracle medicine could cure, I bet. Dear Norma, I want, need, require that the platonic friendship between us be expanded. Hi Laura, I brought you some stuff. Oh, thanks. What's that? A love letter? From Doc Henry. Norma, that's great. You two are like the coolest old people I know. Come 
I'm cool with that. Marma. Henry. Save the best call for the last. After a day like this. What's this? Check for what I owe you for the last six months. Norma. I'm an independent woman. I don't like ultimatums. In business or other affairs. I ask one thing. Just one thing. What's that? Don't cash that till Wednesday. Norma, what's going on here? I thought we were friends. Talk to me. What side of your mouth are you going to answer from this time? I'm not going to cash this check. I really wish you would. And if you tell me one more time that we have to get intimate or else... Norma, what's going on here? We're friends. See you next week, Norma. Next week, Dr. Steiner. Dear Henry, the harsh words that came from my mouth were not from my heart, and that heart wants and needs for us to be together forever in the deepest way. I'll be back to take care of you, to take care of you, to take care of Kurt, you. Kurt, you stay away from me, Earl. You, uh, drop these? Yeah. I thought you were somebody else. Someone I used to... Tom Wilson, DVM. And MBA, and attorney at law. Well, Tom Wilson, <laughs> DVM, MBA, Esquire, etc. What can I do for you? Question is, Dr. Colliner, what can we do for you? Look, I told you, I already have a job. The hours suck, the pay is worse, but it's the opportunity of a lifetime. Yo, chop. My new clinic. As you can see, everything's state of the art. Cutting edge all the way. All we need is a fresh new energetic partner. Maybe a uh, National Veterinary College grad with your impressive academic record and uh, hmm, colorful history of running with the old farts there. Somebody has to challenge the system. And redefine it with all the work that you did in the university, in your spare time. <laughs> I know, funded by traditional and, uh, and non-traditional sources, but uh, all of it elegant work. Stay beyond the art. And the Ark. Mm. And I hear you're a rugged individualist who's not moved by flattery. Yeah. Mm. Full benefits. All professional fees paid for by our Toronto office. Two weeks travel for continuing education. And if you see a case that interests you, hey, write it up. The publisher of the National Veterinary Journal works out of our Vancouver division, and the editor is a hmm, good friend of mine who still owes me some favors. Yeah. Why would you come to Knife Bend on purpose? <laughs> the new highway, airport next fall, ski resort to follow. Rumor has it a community college that's on its way, which will lead to a university which will require top-level faculty. You can bet your bottom shekel that the Lancaster family and Wilson Enterprises are both committed to converting this, hey, let's call it what it really is, 
economically depressed Cowtown into a vibrant economic community on par with Jasper, Banff, and hey, even Aspen. I'll have to think about this. Ask Henry about it. Uh, better not wait too long. You know Henry Steiner is retiring soon. <laughs> He'll never retire. His age, his health, his problems with the Veterinary Association. What problems? <laughs> Let me count the ways. First, his selling prescription drugs through non-prescription routes at the feed stores through his country buds. He knows his clients. He's charging his friends nothing for veterinary services. His ideologic enemies top rates usually three or four times more than that. Robin Hood Economics. He's not one of those damn socialists. And his uh, use of illegal drugs, such as hmm, phenylhydrone. You've read about the toxic effects of phenylhydrone on rats and guinea pigs. It's danger to humans. Twelve civilized countries have banned the use and manufacture of phenylhydrone for anything. But in Henry Steiner's hands, it's a wonder drug that can do anything. And there's more. His, uh, oh yeah, liberal policy with regard to testing local cattle herds for contagious and deadly diseases. His uh, paranoia that mad cow disease is an urban plot designed to scare ranchers into bankruptcy and enforce Stalinist labor jobs in town working in shopping malls, factories, and malls where uh, at the end of the day they actually bring home more than if they stayed home in mind of the fucking cows and that is no bullshit. Rest assured that the Veterinary Association is going to do what it has to do in the best interest of the veterinary community and the general community. I trust, hope anyway, that you are going to do what is in your best interest. I owe him. Huh. Henry Steiner gave me a job. <laughs> an opportunity. Henry Steiner stole an opportunity from you at the Ribley Veterinary Clinic? Look, a job was waiting for you at the Wrigley Veterinary Clinic twice. Henry Steiner made calls to them about you twice. Don't tell me you didn't know. You're a lot smarter than that, Roberta. Why? The Ribley Clinic is all wrong for you. You're worthy of much bigger challenges. You're not my teacher, I'm not your student, and this is not Wyoming Veterinary College. Half the faculty at that university were my students. I gave them everything. I never expected them to work any harder than me. They had no right to vote me out of my department. And this clinic that I built for you, Rita. For Rita? I mean, Roberta. No, you mean Rita. The daughter that ran out on you 20 years ago to save her own ass, probably for the same reasons I'm doing now. Roberta, I'm trying to make it that you do not make a disastrous decision. I like making my own disastrous decisions. You had the chance to fuck up your life. I should be able to fuck up my own. Oh, you're deluded, deranged. Ugh. No one has the right to talk to me like that. No one. My blood is in this book. <laughs> this book. That's my life. That I wrote and instruments that I designed that work. You're here early. You know, they finally finished Highway 5. I can't say I miss the, goal, the washboards and gopher holes. <laughs> oh, but those construction guys, shirtless, horny, married, mixed karma. You know, they got those walls out for the new Lancaster Mall. I don't know what they're going to be able to sell. No one here has any money for that. Bad karma. That place was a... Uh, sanctuary for medicine men and women for since the beginning of time and wildlife have been there 
since ever I can remember. They should dig up some of those old arrowheads. Make it into a monument, a museum. They can sell tickets. <sighs> Sorry. So, <laughs> what are you doing? Feeding chickens. What does it look like? But didn't Doc Henry send those to you? They cost at least. Doc Henry sent those to you. Not the chickens. Doc Henry's a vet. He'll understand. And if he tries to tell me one more time that we get intimate or else... Norma! Ha! <laughs> he just wants to get to know you better. So you two can... Merge souls. Merge souls? I... Uh... Uh, read my mail? <sighs> Your generation's stuck on this ownership thing. Bad karma. So's lying. It happens. I'm sorry. So, is Baba going to be okay? Yeah. You have the most positive vibrations this side of a rainbow, and I have the best hands this side of the Continental Divide. And... So, Baba the Super Guard Dog is going to give another chance to get tangled up in the wire for those garage cats try to move on to his home turf. I'd like to get some follow-up x-rays in a week. Do you have to? It's bad karma to put cash before caring. But the people outside wanted $65 before we even came in here. Yeah, my parents would totally freak if I asked for another advance on my allowance because we're trying to be poor this month so we can get closer before our annual ski trip to Aspen. Doc Henry never charges up front. And he never charged anyone $65 for just looking at a dog. Well, if something costs too little, my fraternal and maternal caregivers say it's worth shit. Why is Doc Henry's clinic closed? Some legal things I hear. Here, give Bubba two of those three times a day until we get the x-rays done next week. How much? This time, no charge. So we can be charged double next time for the x-rays. I'll see what I can do. Remember, we need x-rays next week. No charge, no. Out of my paycheck. What's left of it? But, uh, I'm gonna talk to you about something else. Right, strike two. Unprofessional appearance. No. Looks good. Very. Yeah, the upscale clients, they like that kind of shtick. Maybe I should put some feathers in my hair? Or a beaded headband? Here? Or here? Or, uh... Here. Our relationship is professional. Right? Right, right. I just, I just thought that, you know, you and me, you know, you and me, you know. Maybe in time. Yeah. In time. But, In the meantime, the veterinary board is holding a special meeting regarding Henry's Diner's case. 1 p.m. Tuesday, Hanson Courthouse. They want you to be there. That wasn't part of our deal. 
You told me I'd never have to testify. Look, all they want is the truth. What you know and what you saw. And I'm not supposed to tell you this, but uh, to upgrade your provisional membership in the association, the full membership with full voting rights on the board on all matters, great and small. A shot in the arm for you in this early stages of advancing career, which, hey, I wish I had when I was at your stage of escalating evolution. What if I'm late or have other plans? It is a free country. So the bosses tell us. But, hey, I'll be sure that the Veterinary Association never finds out about... Mm, your past legal problems. Bobby. Or should I say, Mrs. Lawrence. Mrs. Lawrence. I don't know why I keep you around. Oh, I know. Mrs. Lawrence. Mrs. Lawrence. Yes, that's you. And I'm Mr. Lawrence, telling you to enjoy that steak and let them enjoy their fun. Okay? Mom? Here. A birthday present. Do what needs to be done. This garbage disposal job is yours. Go ahead. Safety's off. It's now or never, right? Atta girl. You get out of here, I'll take care of this. So, we're good, eh? <laughs> Still in business? Of course we are. I am, anyway. That's one real bullet for you, Dad. <laughs> and one for you, Mama. And there's plenty left for my darling wife. If she ever gets enough brains to figure this out. <laughs> yeah, I'm sure it was self-defense. But guilt by association is still prosecutable guilt. And speaking of... <laughs> Speaking of associations, uh, 1 p.m. Hanson Courthouse. party guy. Did he die? Or maybe he joined a Buddhist monastery. I know he didn't get abducted. 
No cowboy I know is into the E.T. thing. Maybe. The hardy party guy just got partied out. I read in the National Globe that he got like a nose job and like a face job and like some kind of factory job out in Newfoundland. You know, I also read that he went and got like a sex change so he could be, you know, true to his inner self. Well, the hardy party guy isn't dumb or brave enough to do that. Ten bucks regular. I'm in a rush today. Hey, Doc. Rushing to her. Or... Special oh. today for the first beautiful lady that drives in. What's wrong, Bobby? You don't like them? I do. They're apology flowers. After the smiles, the apologies, and these, there's... This? Because it makes me feel good. And you deserve it, right? Right. What's wrong, Doc? No. 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 file of Dr. Roberta Culliner. Who will be here. She's just 15 minutes late. She's still probably out on that call that I sent her on. Decisions. <laughs> Kurt said I couldn't make a decision to save my life. Option one. Save career, forfeit dignity. Option two. Go down with the good ship Henry. <laughs> if it hasn't sunk already. Option three. Somewhere. Anywhere. $120. Start over. Unless... Elden here. We found your son. Would you like me to set up a meet and greet with him? You bet your gumballs, gumshoe. We're gonna have the biggest party an 11 year old ever had. Birthday cake, moose meat, bannock, and... Dr. Colliner, I spoke to our attorneys and we will deny you any access to my foster son. You did enough harm to him with drugs and alcohol when you were pregnant. I don't care why your husband made you sign the adoption papers or that he may be your father's son. We brought Daniel back to health and into a happy, stable home. And when we told Daniel you were looking for him, he said he never wants to see you under any circumstances, legal or otherwise. Go. Out. Come on. Out. Get. Get. 
option four. Unless you out there, wherever you are, Bear Spirit can suggest an option five. Five. Didn't think so. She will be here. She's uh, pathologically loyal, destructively independent, but she's not stupid. Okay? Best way to save the herd? Get rid of the sick cow. Gentlemen, can you give us a minute, please? Tom, we have to move on. I'll have to call the others in. I can give you enough evidence against Henry Steiner. Get him out of our fucking ear for good. It's inadmissible evidence. It's, it's hearsay. Oh, yeah. Hearsay evidence like, uh, oh, yeah. You, at the last veterinary conference, you and your secretary, Stephanie, looking so right at the uh, casino table in that black cocktail dress, and you looking so sharp in that tux right there with her, very with her. Both of you wearing those uh, 007 Bond dark sunglasses. <laughs> Guess I shouldn't have taken them off when the cameras were looking. But hey, what happens in Vegas stays in Vegas. But, <laughs> your kids, your legacy, do you really think they're open-minded enough to accept you're having had, or maybe still having, an experimental extramarital relationship with a woman barely old enough to be their younger sister and your wife, who still does hold the key to your heart? Money reputation let's not forget dear old mom dear old set in her ways mom who still is alive somewhere so I'm told <laughs> barely What? Why do you want Henry Steiner so bad? I mean, everyone knows that he caused some problems for your father's pharmaceutical company. But there's something more. Ancient history. <laughs> like you. 
trying to take over the the same valley that your father failed to make his own personal colony 25 years ago. And you, trying to get it back for him. After you, you failed to control the monopolies he gave you? Look, Tom, you don't have to, to live in your father's shadow. You don't have to define yourself according to what he thinks of you. You're your own man, your own person, your own soul. You... Look, you will hang Henry Steiner. And you will give that ungrateful Indian bitch an hour to get in here to save her ass. Or it's your ass on the chopping block. Yours and, uh, of course, Stephanie's. Got it? Got it. Good. Adams. Oh. Porcupine is not a kitten. You can't play with him. I told you about the porcupine. I told you. Jeez, baby. He's a good boy. He's such a good boy. Okay. This is getting old, grandmother. No fear. No tears. I won't break down. I won't. We all have to move on, all of us. You too, Grandmother. Remember the Wentworths? Those abused animals that we found? Those cats and dogs, the tortured cats and dogs? We got them out of there. We rescued them together. You were the one that told the judge that anyone who would abuse animals would abuse kids. And they're safe now. In a real home. With their animals. And remember that three-legged dog that bit everybody's hand? He's with me now. Licking my hand, eating me out of husband. Henry! Open up! Those animals out there need you! I need you. Oh, I'll pretend you're not in. It won't be the first time I've played the fool. Certainly won't be the last. Thank God.
Terry? Norma! I tried to, uh... You know, being alone, it scares younger people, but it sustains older ones, most of the time. Huh? You just can't manipulate love. I don't get it. Yeah, neither do I. Come on. And you pale faces say we're rotten housekeepers. There's a few pieces of equipment I you left behind you might be needing. I guess I will. I hear you got your license. Provisionally. You? $7,500 fine and 72 hour suspension. Yeah. I could use the three days to go fishing. I'm thinking about going up to Elkwood Lake where my daughter and I used to go. My daughter and I used to go up there in the spring and the fall. My daughter kept telling me I never understood her. Don't know where she's at now. My dad and I used to go to Casper's Bay. Elkwood Lake was on a list of things we wanted to do. A long list. Me and lost causes. Bad habits. Just one question. Prometheus, the wolf pup, the Johansson's calf, every kitten and puppy, do they remind you of someone? You have your secrets, I have mine. Dr. Collier. What? You're stubborn, insolent, rude, and have no respect for authority. Thank you. And one hell of a vet. Thank you. Doc. Something on your mind there, Cowboy Hank? Something on my heart. That I gotta say... naked. With a voice I haven't used in a while. Saw you with my inner eye. No. You can't be the hearty party moron. You and me, I hope to be. You got any other secrets you're keeping from the world now that you're officially dead? I'd like to tell you all about them when the time is right. Yeah, I'd like that when the time is right. Do I have to tell you mine? If you need to. Or want to. Above all else, I hope to be your trusted new friend. Cowboy Hank, or whatever his real name, plays it better. He can play the notes as well as the music. No matter how hard I try, I just can't play. So maybe this is my instrument. My novels, poems, lyrics. Literarily brilliant, according to Cowboy Hank. Dull, dead, and lifeless, according to everybody else. Roberta, I've got a call. You got a patient. 
Yeah, I'm coming. Snowball. You should not get into chicken coops. You're not supposed to. Little chickies are puppies' friends, I know. And I'll have to have a big talk with that mean old... Okay, it is a large wound, but we can suture it. Snowball will be fine with a few days kennel rest. Are you sure? I know you did great work on my horse and my dog when they got caught in the bob wire. Better than Doc Henry, and, but he's a tough act to follow. I'm just doing my job. You really think you can save my snowball? Of course you can. Doc R is published in six different journals this year. They don't matter here. Huh? Didn't quite hear you, Doc. Snowball's gonna be just fine. Room three, please. You're one of the lucky ones, you know. You're good about what you do. And nobody can be that good without really, really loving it. And you think I do? Huh? Never mind. And don't you tell anybody I said that either. You feeling okay, Doc? No. Dull, dead, and lifeless. And there's no pill or vaccine in this world to cure it either. Huh? So is everything going good with the new computers? Yeah, it is. It's going really well. There was a couple of glitches, but everything's loaded up and ready to roll. Mm. It's working really well. Yeah. Ten horse Johnson horse gildings. Finito. Two Olson calf pullings, one C-section. Scour's problem at Smith's farm. Solved. 20 Taylor bulls semen tested. Only two off to the fag farm for culling, which I told them wouldn't make it a year ago. Collected, logged in, and... Where's your roommate? Out sick. Out sick. She had a real bad flu. She didn't want to give it to anyone here. Anyway, the veterinary crooks would have charged $5,000, taken two days, and I did it all in three hours and got $1,850. Gross. Minus the cost of drugs, vaccines, and other supplies. Who are you? And what is that? <laughs> A computer. Huh, programmed by Techno Geek Minions, you always love. Marie here has filled it with the new budget with costs and expenses. Marie? Marie LeBlanc. That's Marie with an IE. He used to have a wife named Marie that spelled it with a Y. Why? Because. Is there something wrong? I'm sorry if I'm making any trouble. I can leave. Hey, Doc, this is Marie. With an IE. He knows. She came in earlier. We had a huge rush. She offered to help and fit right in. Oh. Not married. No ring on it. Hmm. Except for the fact that I still owe you for my bill and for my daughter still owes you. Hmm. This doesn't make sense. This doesn't make any sense at all. Your ad in the paper says you do top quality work for top quality people who care about their animals. But this bill... Which we do, sir. <clears throat> I'm a top-level professional who only hires top-level certified professionals. Unlike uh, <clears throat> Henry Steiner, who hasn't bought a new piece of equipment in 20 years, and uh, his Indian sidekick, who <laughs> still sees animal spirits in the woods. All these tests and these procedures, I didn't want any of these. All <clears throat> like this cold that I'm trying to get over today. <laughs> Necessary for the well-being and safety of your beloved pet, Felix. IV lines, trach tubes, capnographs, ECG, mm -hmm. complete blood work, and no less than seven newly developed anesthetics, unlike the two moldy oldies that uh, Henry Steiner, the old dinosaur, and his Indian bitch doctor still use. For 570 bucks? For taking off his balls? 
Well, after Felix got admitted, he developed some complications. Or created them, maybe. The kind of complications that Doc Henry never has, and all these other incidental charges, Doc. Doc. All standard professional fees, sir. I'm not paying this bill. And I'm getting Felix out of here before he gets more complications in your hands. You can't do that, sir. Really? Watch me. Like the sign says that you refuse to read, all payments due at the time of service. Otherwise, unfortunately, and by law, Felix remains with us for a standard professional fee of $45 a day. And then after 30 days, unfortunately, and by law, Felix goes to the animal shelter where You have 570 bucks? I don't have that. Hmm, but maybe if you have, uh, say, 300, we can work this out for the rest of the bill, man to man. Yeah, that's all I got, man. It'll do for now. Rhonda, bring Felix in. Good Felix, good Felix, good Felix. Ooh, shit, bastard. Atta boy, Felix. I know you'd take his balls if he had any, if he had any, if he had any, if he had any. More bills for us. Equipment. Supplies. And salary. Mine included. That can't keep getting paid on someone else's tab, Tom. Rhonda, 90% of the money in this country belong to 10% of the people, and those 10% will pay for state-of-the-art veterinary medicine. And they'll set the example for everyone else to do that. I refuse to turn this clinic of mine into a medical Walmart like Henry Steiner and Roberta Colliner's one-stop doc shop. But their parking lot's full and ours is empty. Yeah. yeah. Tom, are you all right? Yeah. I'm, I'll be okay. We'll be okay. We'll all be okay. Mr. Reed, uh, bring those fecal and uh, tissue samples in. I'll work them up personally. Nothing too good for a hardworking man like you. And speaking of hardworking, all of you back there who are pretending to be, to be working, get in the back and do something, at least look like you're somewhat useful, okay? If it's not too much trouble. So, Mr. Reed, what do you have for me? No, for us. Phenobarbital, as it says on the label. Given to me for my dog Yeller, who has the seizures. And uh, prescribed by? Dr. Henry Steiner. Did he or any certified veterinarian actually examine old Yeller? Only if he could do it from astro by astral projection. I said Yeller was with my wife who's dying of stage four cancer in a hospice in Winterpeg. Mm -hmm. And you did say that uh, you didn't have enough money to, to bring old Yeller in for a complete medical exam and that you couldn't pay for a complete blood profile before he prescribed this potentially dangerous and highly controlled substance. And I had the country western station blaring louder than a cow bellering for a calf as I moseyed in. Yeah. Oh, the uh, receipt for such. Oh, and they didn't find out about this. I got those pills, as I was supposed to, 
without him or anyone else writing anything down about this transaction. Okay, yeah. and I got it on this camera, along with pictures of 10 violations of the Veterinary Association bylaws. Uh, 20. I'm still on the board that upgrades and revises the bylaws, bylaws that ensure high level of professional standards and ensure that clinics that can't or won't keep up with the times are shut down for good. And your plans for Doc Henry and his uh, hippie doctor squaw? Mm. You know what? Your business, Doc, not mine. But uh, as far as our business? Oh, yeah, yeah, sorry, sorry. Uh, deal's a deal, right? I'll just uh, get in here and uh, write a check. Uh, you know what, if you don't mind, I prefer cash. The last time you wrote me a check for special services rendered and my brother, it bounced at the bank. My staff. Uh -huh. Moving money around from one account to another, mm -hmm. you know it is. Not talking to each other or to me about it, but for the moment. The cash that I owe you, uh, your brother, well. Mm -hmm. Well, you anyway. Uh, I'm 134 short here, Doc. Hey, hello. Hey, you shorted uh, me 134. I, yeah, intentionally. Huh? You see, if I give you that $134, you're just going to waste it on a destructive relationship you're having with its with that peeler two towns over. Who had information about the destructive loser my daughter thinks she's in love with. Yeah. Well shit, it was you who gave me the stripper's name. Yeah, well that's maybe a story that your wife might believe, but hey, tell you what, I'll do just for you. I'll keep that $134 in reserve, in sort of a pension account for you. Let it build up some interest. Sort of an insurance policy given the services we've been doing for each other in the past and will be doing for each other in the future, right? Mm -hmm. The dynamics of our creative understanding. the elixirs. Wondrous. Prescribed by Henry Steiner without seeing the animal. One pill makes you smaller and one pill makes me tall. What is this shit? <laughs> this candy colored shit. But uh, one picture, Steiner and Company, one picture equals a thousand violations for all of you. Bitch, after everything I tried to do for you, you laugh at me. No one laughs at me. No one laughs at me. No one laughs at me. 
No one laughs at me. No one. Snowball's owners brought as a thank you. It's real good. Goes down really good with this. Do you want some? We got plenty. Heap good medicine for the aching soul. Uh, I'm good. It's your loss. I can get to those later. I can get to them sooner. It's your loss. So, how's that new pen pal of yours? You know, persecuted philosopher. Incarcerated because he told everyone that at the end of the day, and the life, it really is cool to be cruel. And to be uncool is to be ineffective. Hey, I can hook you up with one of his fellow philosophers and he can show you how to be effective and maybe happy. You know, like really happy. Mm, I'm good. <clears throat> it's your loss. That's impossible. There's no way that dog had kidney disease. Blood work was all normal. I didn't see anything abnormal on the test results, did you? No, but shit happens. Maybe something happened to the animals between here and there. But that's the third time this week. Results from other clinics saying that I fucked up. Maybe life is telling you to do something else. Yeah. I have a friend in LA who might be able to help you with your artistic dilemma. I sent her the CD. Hope you don't mind. No, not at all. Thanks. You're welcome. There was a complaint against you for animal cruelty, sir. By who? We're not allowed to say, sir. We have to follow up on all leads for animal cruelty, intentional or not, and seize animals who are mistreated with the full support of the law, sir. I understand that. We heard that there's a veterinarian living on residence here, a uh, Roberta Colliner, PhD, DVM. H-B-A-R-P as well. Human being, aspiring renaissance person, or trying to be anyway. There's a problem with us taking a picture of your face, sir? A face that, yeah, it looks familiar. But we can see that most everything here is uh, according to the revised SPCA standard care code, sir. Better than that code. Every creature who I bring here, or is brought here, or is born here has the best of everything. Running free, safe, and better fed than either of us. And uh, what kind of shelter do these horses have? Lean to by the house when the weather is not so good. Barn just over the fence hill when it's real bad. Trees and open sky for the rest of the time, which... They prefer, as you can see. Or when the weather gets to be where you and me have to wear coats and jackets, I do hope that they are put away in indoor stalls with hay cubes fed at an elevation of at least four feet off the ground. The horse is a free roaming, grass eating creature that enjoys movement and does not like confinement, sir. And any horse that's forced to live like a caged rat protected from the big open becomes just like people who live in apartments who are afraid of the woods and the street and if you keep them warm and comfy their entire lives anything outside their front door sir dying from a depression they can't ever crawl out of sir some suggestions which i trust you will follow up on sir and if i have my own suggestions or work with my own animal docs instead of the experts on this list Tom Wilson on top of it. We look forward to working with you, 
for the sake of the animals, Mr. Olson. And your real boss is? I can't say, sir. For the sake of the animals? Even more SBCA health checks to look at today. Hmm. I have a survey here from the Veterinary Association. It's required to be answered by all members, including its acting president. Officially, because I'm concerned about the evolution and growth of animal health science and its integration into a ever-changing and variable global economy, officially. And unofficially? Mm. For the admiration and thanks of all the attractive women who love their pets like their kids? Mm. A perk I appreciate, mm. uh, I suppose. Mm. Maybe. But the real reason? Veterinary nurses go into medicine because of their love of animals. Doctors do it for their love of clinical diseases? Yeah, there is that. But, uh, as our old friend Machiavelli said, better to be feared than loved. Mm -hmm. And more better to be feared and respected. And uh, those people out there, whenever anyone or their beloved pets comes between me and them, they will respect me. Or are they going to fear me? Be they idiots or assholes. Do you fear him or respect him? I don't know. said between us, Rhonda. And us, yes? Mm -hmm. We uh, have important work to do. Right. Right, okay. Get back to it then. All right. I kind of sort of washed your jeans with mine. And now they're all worn and torn. Oh, that's okay. Come on, look. I got new clothes. For me. And you. Cool. <laughs> and they're totally hot. The buyer of such is requesting both of our presences tonight. So don't you dare give me shit about having to work for Norma, Doc Henry, or Roberta, okay? Mm, they've been wondering when you're coming back. You were getting really good at the work there. Yeah, well, I got good at something else. Which is maybe not something I want to get good at. And what Roberta used to be good at, you know, before she got better inside. She doesn't say a lot with her mouth, but her eyes, her eyes speak so many words. So many words that she's never told anybody. She hasn't even told Cowboy Hank. And he has his own secrets, too. Secrets he hasn't even told me. Because... Look, Terry, because I love you. And I want to save you from yourself. And beneath all that mastery and servitude, real love is between the ears, not the legs. Bull crap, you tell yourself. You really want what only I can give you. Because you know who I am. Someone who's been taken over by... Someone you want to tell me about, Deathhound? 
<laughs> Come on. Come on. Hit me back. Come on. Hit me back. I want you to. I need you to. Come on. You need to also. Gosh darn it. Just hit something or someone back. You moron. You idiot. You absolute piece of. Go away! And you tell this new pearl philosopher of yours to go away too! Now! Get the fuck out of here! Both of you! All of you! Damn abuse allegations. I heard about you getting on that talent show in Vancouver. I'm sure you're gonna do fine. Better than fine. Time for you to get a new laugh for yourself anyway. As for me, I had to get our animals to where the bastards can't find them. And get me to somewhere where other bastards from my past can't find me neither. Can't say when it's safe, or, or right, to come back home. But in the meantime, you do what you need to do want to do. Yours always. Even if we never see each other again. Me. And there you go, Regina Dog and Spade, quick and fast. Eleven minutes, two minutes slower than Roberta. Next. Ah, oh, we have this x-ray. That looks familiar. That's because we only took it an hour ago. Oh, yeah, maybe. I might remember that. Yeah. Excellent technique and style. Inappropriate wardrobe. But he's our boss's nephew. Th that means we're supposed to like him, right? Yeah, I suppose so. But isn't it us who determines who the audience likes, right? <laughs> Indeed. Welcome to Canada Breed's Talent. Next. Roberta Collinier. Oh. Dr. Roberta Collinier. Please heal our tired souls with your literary, lyrical music. Which better be good, and not just ethnic. Which means now... Please. upon a time I met a man who was good Show me how to live my life as I knew I should Ups and downs I told you, she sings as great as she writes I suppose so Everything I thought he was Went upside down one day Not blaming him or me for Highland Bliss, good choice A smooth but potent brew if you're not used to it. Oh, it's for somebody else. Yeah, you sure about that, Doc? Yeah, I'm sure. Oh, idiot. 
and I'm in a hurry. Okay. Today, please. Now. Sorry, Doc. Card's been declined. Standard professional fee for Highland Bliss is 50 bucks. But if you got 40 or so, we can, you know, work the rest out. Yeah, yeah, right. Man to man, right? Yeah, yeah. Man to mouse. According to the note and the test, it's a spinal cord injury. According to my nose, kidney failure. A nose that's connected to a body that's overworked and the BUN stick says no kidney disease. Terry, five cc's of our super steroid anti-paralysis concoction. You got it, Doc. Him or me for what I saw happen then. Such happens when the blade of Becomes a knife and I hope he's well wherever he is That is no lie I think of him with love can never So am I allowed to like her? Yes? I suppose so. Yes. Yes. So are we allowed to like her? I suppose so. Yes. 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 Be with someone else, and I hope that he will too. So don't be tardy. Orders from up top. So party. And now let's recreate the party. Next. What's wrong with her? She pointed out what's wrong with us to the wrong people, I suppose. Occupational hazard of having talent, I suppose. Or don't know. Next! Marie, I was wondering if you weren't doing anything for the rest of your life, I take that smile as a yes. Yes, but... Doc! Doc! That speed dog, she's bleeding. And Charlie, the dog with the spinal cord injury, his kidney's failing. What do we do? I don't know. I truly don't know. Terry? Henry, or rather Dr. Steiner. I just wanted to congratulate you on your many victories, including the victory of the heart. Smart man knows when he's beaten, and I've become, I've decided to become a smart man. We need help, now. What, what, what's going on? What's going on? In a, in a minute, in a second, I'll make the calls. That one's out. Rhonda? I'll be there in a second, I'll be there in a second. I'm, bringing, I'm calling some help in. Rhonda? 
Hell just froze over, and we're doing the skating this time. Yeah, set it all in motion, all of it. I'm coming, I'm coming! Anybody home? Wow. So, how was your vacation? What happened here? We called you. We really needed your help. For what? I didn't hear from anybody. You don't know. Do you? Know what? Doc? Doc? Dr. Culliner, what do you see in that x-ray? Cat with a diaphragmatic hernia. Slam dunk diagnosis. Missed by me. Cost the animal everything. I'm an idiot. And I should die. I'm an idiot. And I should die. My original song. My favorite, actually. Where's Marie? In Winnipeg. With her sister in Winnipeg. Who has cancer. And all the patients? With real doctors. Who saved them. Or most of them, anyway. And Terry, did you mail that letter? That I asked you to do? Ah, who is? Ah. Uh, we we'll, was we'll getting around to it later, Doc. You better get around to it now. That knife. Given to me by Doc Dimshevik, who taught me everything I knew and know. Gave it to me before he performed his own autopsy. Cause of death. Like you told me many times, Doc. Shit happens. Not that many times. Referral files from Tom Wilson's clinic and eight others on cases that I screwed up over the last year. That's impossible. I've seen you. And then there's Charlie. Diagnosis kidney failure. Caused by me, treated by Doc Wilson. And that miracle drug of his that you should think about using. If you're up to it, take it, please. And what will you do to justify the oxygen that you breathe? Catch fish. A good plan, temporarily. Cook them for Marie. Don't tell her. I'm a better cook than she is. Well, Terry thinks, well, she's heard, that Marie is... Best worker I've ever had in this clinic. And a trusted companion. And when she comes back, probably hire her at a wage she deserves. We, you, Terry, we have to talk. About what I'm going to do with this? We're going to go fishing. Going to go fishing in the dark. You and me going fishing in the dark. Lying in the grass and tying the hooks and the cool grass grows. Yeah, I'll get her. It's for you, Doc. Yeah? Tom Wilson here. Got the fax I sent? A fax? A confidential business proposition. Yeah, I did. Just between you and me. An economic partnership. For the sake of the animals. And 
behind us. With you on top. What do you have today, Doc? Let's see, it's Wednesday. My usual Wednesday, potato soup with bacon. Yeah, you take care of my belly when it's hungry. I take care of your dogs when they're sick. We take care of each other. All right, Carly? Hey, Hank, Heinrich, how go them horses and cows that I diagnosed and treated? Doing great, Doc. Yeah, yeah, sure. Just, uh, Keep going with those plans that uh, I gave you and uh, everything will be just fine. And if something unexpected happens, we'll come up with a better plan. You're not afraid that the waitress is going to feed you a hemlock omelet? And those Yahoo Cowboys haven't slashed your tires? Not as long as the lives of their beloved four-legged brats are in my paws, Dad. The proper address is father. Out here it's dad, sir. We do have to play along with the peasants. My responsibility is their new, yeah, king. <laughs> Prince, as long as I'm still alive and funding this colonization project of yours. In a town where, as I remember, Henry Steiner discredited you. 25 years ago, Dad. Here you go, Doc. Mild as always. Mild as uh, my Uncle Henry ordered. Eat up there, Uncle Henry. You eat up, nephew. You never know where your next meal's coming from, particularly if things at the Veterinary Association don't go as planned, Mr. Re-elected President. I have everything under control. Oh, and that wolf doctor Indian princess you keep talking about, Prince Thomas? Squaw, who's gonna be here in two hours to play the part in the script that I scripted according to my plan. Which means that maybe I should just mosey on back home, nephew. Yeah, maybe you should, Uncle Henry. Ooh, hotter than what we're used to. Good lesson for a king, son. Don't bite off more than you can chew. I have everything under control. I know you do. You're a Wilson after all. Finally. Yeah, I am. This meal's on me. Yeah. I am a Wilson after all. You eat up, you enjoy that soup, Doc. So, not everyone canceled, or was canceled. Like the song I was gonna write, The Mastery of Servitude. In the service now of Tom Wilson, whoever else thinks I know anything anymore. But first... <laughs> Having a special moment with an old friend. Remembering the days in Sagebrush Bar in Old Saskabush. Old times there are best forgotten with Highland Bliss. Darkest whiskey on the shelf. And that bottle's a little light. And watered down. After someone drank from this. That would have been Charlie. Doc Wilson said it was the only thing that would save him. Which it did. If Charlie was intoxicated with antifreeze, which... Ah! I smelled that in the parking lot earlier. When that fireman brought Charlie in earlier. Next to that truck that maybe had a leaky radiator or... Leaky hands that couldn't hold on to 
this. Alpine Clinic for Charlie. Be given at 215. Antifreeze, five mils. That's enough to put a 50 pound dog into kidney failure. If he got this by three. That's when Dr. Tom came in. But Marie did a bun test that showed. Maybe what she wanted it to show. Light green strips, which if they came from Charlie instead of her pricked finger. <laughs> she did cut herself on that needle before she came into the lab. A lab that's been giving us strange results ever since Marie fixed everything. Telling me that Lucius had no coccidia. That this is loaded with coccidia. As the nose knows, or should have, neurostatin, a short-term paralyzer of nerve fibers, which when applied to the back simulates spinal cord injury that anyone could treat with steroids, acupuncture, and that cocktail that Henry and I made up. Okay. So, I did pick Marie's locker earlier, and that's what I found. That's decon. It's an anticoagulant. That means any animal would bleed out no matter how good Doc Henry did his stitches. Savable by plasma that the miracle Doc who opened them up again fixed it. But what about Rusty? The cat with the diaphragmatic hernia. The x-rays that I took. The Doc never saw. It could have been created by Dr. Marie or someone else kicking in the belly before doing the surgery. Ah, oh, she wears those stupid pointy high heel boots that drive Doc Henry nuts. Like he said his ex-wife did. But what about all the lab work? Those machines don't lie. No, not about the enzyme levels. But they can be programmed to adjust the dates the samples are on it and who they were from. Something I figured out when I remembered. Let's see. Yes. Lab results from normal healthy animals. Numbers that I remember because of the memory I got from my granny. They were duplicated with different dates from healthy animals. <sighs> and then they were sent out of here without the treatment they needed because... Me and Doc trusted those machines. And Marie. Instead of our own instincts. We were fools not to trust our instincts. And those faxes that came from referral clinics they said that they fixed the problems we missed. They weren't all sent by those clinics. Well then, like, who sent them? I did. When I worked for Tom Wilson, the asshole you were about to make your new silent partner. And boss. And... <laughs> I loved him more than he could ever love himself or anybody else. But my breeding maybe wasn't up to his standards. He demanded. Oh, God. He dumped you? Because he wanted you after he broke you. Like he tried to break me. He's not gonna break any of us. No, no he's not. And neither will she. Piece of checks written to Marie. From King Thomas for a lot more than she ever made here. And checks written by Marie, or whatever her real name and hair color is, to um Sarah Rosenthal, literary agent for For sinking Roberta's career. Roberta's literary career. And in cursive handwriting that's the same as looks a whole lot like that in those love letters to Cowboy Hank from 
from a non-existent ex-girlfriend who wanted him back that were planted in your living room by... <laughs> He's rich and powerful and he knows people that we don't even know exist. If you go up against him, he will destroy you. Not if we destroy him first. You. You. I'm getting out of this. I only came by because you needed and deserved to know the truth. I just want to go somewhere else to have my baby away from all of this. Well, I what do we do now? Doc Henry's hearing is like tomorrow morning. We'll go fishing this afternoon. Henry, will you look at this place? I know it's hard to believe, but it's true. Look at the evidence. Speculation and planted forgery. I can't tell you where I got a lot of this evidence, Henry. That makes your investigation flawed, immoral, and illegal. Since when did you give a shit about illegal in a world where veterinary bylaws are flawed and immoral? They have more power, more money, more smarts. I'm done. I'm retiring tomorrow. I'm handing in my scalpel to the suits. And let them continue to have the power of life and death over innocent animals? You can take care of the animals better inside the system than I can outside. Assuming there are still any animals left to look after, because of them, their new ad, it's got Tom Wilson written all over it. SPCAs can do whatever they want, and they're accountable to nobody except their own bosses. Or boss. Who I still haven't been able to locate. I just might be able to. But you're scheduled for crucifixion by Tom Wilson's bought and blackmailed board tomorrow. As am I. I can't make them believe what's in here. And I can't do that by myself. Then it is time to make them believe that you're not you. two dogs, Mutt and Jeff. Uh, well, they don't look familiar, and uh, I'm not seeing them in here, sir. That's strange, because my neighbor saw you Gestapo wannabes loading them in your truck yesterday, and I got witnesses who say they saw you walking them behind your bob wire fences this morning. Well, that having been said and noted, these dogs are not here. I can assure you they're not here then you won't mind me going in the back and having a look-see for myself and all those folks out front doing the same thing. Can't do that. Boss's orders. The boss. The boss who's always out of town on conference. Get the... Get the fuck out! Huh. <sighs> What can I do for you? Charlie. Patches dipped in neurotoxin, simulating spinal cord disease, and drinking antifreeze Kool-Aid. 
which damages the kidneys and livers for life. No matter how much Highland Bliss and Tom Wilson elixir you put in them. I didn't know. Now you know. I did what I had to do. For my kids. And my animals. What about these animals? They died because of what Tom Wilson and your still out of town boss did. And what they made me do. It wasn't supposed to go this far. And it should never ever go this far again, right? Let them in. Let them all in. Okay. Okay. You messed up my practice. I'm really sorry. You messed up my practice. You're not messing up my life. I'm really sorry. There she is. There's that Cassandra. Hey. Get back here. Hey. You said you had some important information concerning Dr. Steiner's resignation? I do indeed. But first we have to discuss this. <laughs> it's Dr. Wilson wanting to talk to me. But he'll have to wait this time. Come on, come on, I got fish to fry and people to burn. Shit, not again, fucking rental cars. Hey, make yourself useful. Under the hood now, I'm under deadline. Uh, you got it, Doc. Now, then we're gonna go this Check on what's under there. What's the problem? What's the delay? What the hell is going on under that hood? Nothing much, Dr. Tom. It's Dr. Wilson. Dr. Tom Wilson, PhD, DVM, MBA. Uh, the initials you probably wouldn't understand, don't have to, but just, just fix this thing. It looks like you're missing a wire. Missing a wire. Yeah, right, missing. They burn out really fast in these high-octane cars. You know, bad karma is a teaching. Maybe this is like your rebirth. Yeah, like rebirth into a town and sadistic life where all three cab companies in town that are supposed to be open 24 hours are always fucking busy when I call them. Oh, damn. Idiots. You could always take my car. That? Yeah. It's real good on gas. It's great for the environment. Yeah. Uh, no, there's got to be a better way to do it. Hitching. No, no, no. And Rhonda's not in. I'm sure someone's bound to drive by eventually. Hmm. Bad breath, bad for reputation. Uh, if I take that thing, is there any back roads I could that you know about? Yeah, that way. Okay, good, good, okay. Just fix this fucking thing, okay? Sure thing, Doc Wilson. Wilson. Yes, Dr. Wilson. There's a fucking goddamn fucking thing. <laughs> No! <laughs> You're so much happier in my pocket than in this vehicle, aren't you? Yes, yes you are. I know it's incredible, 
diabolical, even unbelievable. But it's... It's not true. I've been trying to call you for the last half hour to tell you that. Don't listen to what, it, what this is telling you with this... Not, whatever's in there, it's not true. And you know this evidence is not true because... Maybe it is. Well, Dr. Wilson, I'd like to hear what you have to say about this. And why? I think that means he wants to talk to his lawyer. What's the name of a good psychiatrist I used to know? Might be able to help him. Dr. Culliner. Yeah? About your file. Which has whatever you suits wanted to put in it anyway. So go ahead, do whatever you're going to do to me. Well, the question is, what can you do for us? There is a space on the board. And uh, it may finally be time for us to have a, a first lady in this all-boys club. Flabbergasted. What about Henry? If I spend all my time administrating medicine, when do I have the time to do it? Better to be the hammer than the nail. Paul Simon's lyrics, not mine. I like yours better. And the world will as well, as long as I keep at it, right? Real greatness in the arts comes before it gets recognized as great. Or even good. And someone has to keep the bridge between arts and science alive. So neither of the cliffs come tumbling down. And doctors who practice too much medicine and not enough arts become soul dead. And don't even know it. And lifelessness is contagious. So in the meantime, what do we do about the deal the suits offered us? Something I drew up last night. The new veterinary rule book. Completed and unabridged. Point one. Above all, do no harm. Point two. Any veterinary abilities we have are given to us from the good Lord and kept alive only if we're humble about it. Point three. Trust your intuition over logic, but always check your work afterwards. And point four. Always go beyond your perceived limitations. Terry, Roberta, and whoever else gave a shit about me. If you're reading this, it means that I'm not giving anyone any shit anymore. Or taking any. I don't know who he was, but when I figured it out, it may have been too late. I thought we were going somewhere. I really thought this was the right thing. thing. I'm, I'm sorry. Sorry. I am sorry. Roberta. Terry, something's wrong. It sure fucking is! What is it? <laughs> Terry, Roberta, and whoever else gave a shit about me. If you're reading this, it means that I'm not giving anyone any shit anymore. Or taking any. I don't know who he was, but when I figured it out, it may have been too late. I had to kill Death Hound. Well, I actually just helped her kill herself. Life Hound is a name that wouldn't really suit her, is it? But then again, any shrink who knew Death Hound knew she would die by her own paw. 
<laughs> That's funny. That's a joke. Come on, Bobby. Laugh with me. Laugh with me like we used to, Bobby, or student number two gets gone. Hmm? How did you find me? Well, there was only one magazine I could read in prison. Had some articles published on your new name. Dr. Collinor, is it? Your old picture on the cover, Bobby. I made some calls, got some help from Tom Wilson, getting out on early parole. Then found Death Hound Terry. And now you. What's it gonna take to make you go away? Nothing. And everything. How about this? <coughs> <coughs> He's dead like I think I am. But you don't have to be. <laughs> oh my god, what the fuck is that? <laughs> it's a bear. It's a friend somewhere else. Only crazy people can see him. Or maybe everybody else. What did I just do? He just poisoned a bear. We're gonna have to treat him in an hour. You up for it?